Andy Brigman from the K9 Coach again, and of course, Puppy Blue. We are working today on the sit, I'm sorry, the stay portion of our sit command. So a lot of dogs will plop their bottom on the ground, and as soon as you reward them, they're up and moving again. So um, a sit isn't very good unless they can hold that for some extended period of time. Um, you'll want them to sit calmly when they're greeting friendly strangers or at the vet's office when you're trying to check out and to pay the bill or while the vet needs to examine them. So there's a lot of reasons the stay um, is important in everyday life skills. So you saw in yesterday's video um, how we start teaching the command sit. And I'll just reinforce for you that it may take several days before you can give that command and them start to put their bottom on the ground. So don't rush it and don't try to create a stay until they really have mastered understanding of what sit means. We are ready and Poppy knows this, so we're just going to demonstrate a little bit how to hold that command nicely. Everything is based on our release cue. So if we've asked her to sit, you can hold that treat a little bit longer. You can kind of stall out and then you say, okay, and release her. Sit. And you're going to just add a pause. And that pause is going to extend itself out until it becomes a really uh, a significant duration of time. Good. Okay. Sit. Okay. Good. The next piece of this equation after you start adding the delay between the command and the release delivery is a little bit of movement. Many dogs think that our footwork is their key to move around. Um, <coughs> and in part, excuse me, that's because the only thing we've ever done with them is kneel around on the leash. So I want you to ask them to sit and start with a little bit of footwork. It literally may be the movement of one foot and back into position, and then, okay, to release. Sit. So you'll start adding a little footwork. If they break command based on your footwork, you're simply going to say no, remind them to sit, try it again, and then release them. Okay, good. You want to be able to build up to adding a lot of footwork, even to the point of moving, you know, sit. So there was an easy way for you to see that my movement, she's going to try to spin with me. But you want to be able to add a little bit of footwork and have her hold that command. Okay, good. What you find a lot of times is that the dog tries to circle around with you. Sit. So if you think about coming, you no, know, sit to the sides and being able to get a side and a back, okay, before you try to be circle, sit. If they start to turn with you, the fact that you're going to move back means they don't know which way you are headed. They're going to have to adjust. And they usually start to stay very stationary until they figure out what makes the correction stop, the no sit stop, and for you to release them. So this is kind of your goal, is to be able to walk all the way around. Okay, good. I'm gonna grab a couple more treats and show you a couple other things. One big proofing skill when you start working on this day, sit, is you've been walking along in your heel, you've stopped and your dog is sitting at your side. Most dogs, when you try to step forward, will make that error, sit. So you want to be able to walk out in front of them, right, and come back. Okay, heel, good. So it's important to try and proof that. Let's try again. Look at the camera so they can see you. Sit. So you want to be able to practice as if you're going to walk off. No, sit. Thank you for showing a good demo there. You know better though. You want to be able to practice walking as if you're going to walk down the street. You're just not going to give them the command to come with you. <clears throat> 
right? Okay, good. <clears throat> Puppy sit. So once you've got a good stay and you can start to get some distance from your dog, start with whatever length of leash you have and this would be the point that you add your recall. You start adding your recall out of the sit position. We'll talk about that in another um, video but you want to be able to at least do a good stay and move out to the end of the leash in any direction and then we'll start working on a recall. One thing that I will add to you about the stay is a lot of people feel better if they physically give a command, stay. We don't actually use that word. The dog is in the command or he's not. So the stay is implied between the command sit and the release okay. Um, if it makes you feel better, use it. But just know if you're training with us, if you're not ever gonna see us tell the dog to stay as we start to walk out from them or do some of the other work. It simply is they are in whatever command they're in or they're not. Okay? Okay. Good girl. Sit. And so check back tomorrow and we'll work on recall.